Oh yes, after a very, very, very wild weekend last week. It's time for the divisional round of the playoffs, man. Yes, it's the WC. Back with a breakdown of the first game on divisional round weekend. New Orleans against Seattle. Now, I know what you're thinking. Seattle. Seattle, Washington, a very cold place. Rainy place, snowy place. So, you know, New Orleans is a dome team, so they really don't stand a chance. Hold on one second, bruh. Hold on one second. Now, let's just go ahead and get straight into this matchup. Comparison of the quarterbacks. Now, no disrespect to Russell Wilson. All right? No disrespect at all. But Drew Brees, like I'll keep saying it, Drew Brees is not no joke. It's not a game. All right? He is the real deal. And in the playoffs, just like Aaron Rodgers and, you know, the Packers went down last week, you know, it's just one of those quarterbacks when it comes to playoff time you just not just do not want to see. I will say that a lot about a lot of these quarterbacks this weekend as far as these games go, as far as, you know, Brady and Manning. I'll get into that a little bit later in my other videos. But, you know, Breeze is just another quarterback that you just do not want to see in playoff time. Win or go home, one game, and you have to advance or go home, and I have to go against Breeze and the boys. I don't want no part of it. And if I'm Seattle, you know, and, and no disrespect to Seattle, you know, them coming off their, their playoff run last year, doing Washington and Washington last year, almost doing Atlanta in Atlanta last year, you know, and the season that they've had this year, it's just, you know, wow. But as far as, like, quarterback matchup goes, I have to give the check to Drew Brees. This guy is battle-tested. He's been here before. He's already won a Super Bowl. I'm not saying that Russell Wilson can't get a, get the better of Drew Brees in that defense, but I'm just saying, as far as QBs go, where you got the check mark. Now, defensively, it's a completely different story. All right, the Saints' defense is not shut down, and you know you can say this. You can say the same thing about Seattle, but Seattle's definitely got one of the top defenses in the league. They have big corners. They have big safeties. They have you know great linebackers up the middle. Their defensive line can get after it. I mean, you know, Seattle's definitely got the check mark, check mark when it comes to defense. Now, you know, with with the with a game like this, and I don't know how much the cold or the weather is going to, you know, affect this game because this is a couple of days in advance I'm recording this. I don't know how much of weather is going to play a factor in this game, but I'm just looking at it as far as weather goes and special teams go. The advantage goes to Seattle because New Orleans is a dome team. They don't have to brave the weather for eight of their games at least. So they get the check mark when it comes to uh, special teams. You just never know if Percy Harvin might return a punt. Um, Darren Sproles, you know, you just never know. One of the special teams things can, you know, can change the game, can actually win the game as far as it goes when it comes to weather related games like this one. So I'd be on the lookout for that. I would just say push when it comes to special teams. Let's just say it like that. Now let's just get into what both of these teams are going to do in order to win this game. Now I'm looking at New Orleans, and I, I hate to keep saying it, but this team just goes and falls with the success of Drew Brees. If Drew Brees does not turn the ball over, all right, and they're able to you know use time management like I was talking about with San Francisco and Green Bay last week, time management is going to be critical for New Orleans to win this game. All right, they're they're going to use the clock run the ball, screen passes, you know, they're just going to have to manage the clock and just keep the ball out of Russell Wilson and that, that offense's hands. And honestly, you know, just going on to, you know, uh, Seattle, Seattle's game plan in order to win this game is going to be similar, but let's, let's stay with New Orleans real quick. I think that Jimmy Graham is the X factor for New Orleans. If New Orleans wins this game, Jimmy Graham is going to have the biggest effect, all right? Because looking at that defensive matchup, with Seattle, all right, going up against um, New Orleans' offense. I think that Jimmy Graham is probably the only guy on that team that they just have a matchup problem with. I'll take Jimmy Graham against Seattle's linebackers all day long. I'll just take it. No question about it. And if Jimmy Graham has a big game, the Saints win this game. All right, you can, you can, put, you can put that down on the table. But, you know, as far as going on to Seattle, looking at what Seattle can offer, bring to the table, you know, they talk about they talk about beast mode with Marshawn Lynch. I'm expecting for them to just feed him the ball. I, I don't think that they're just going to put all the pressure on, 
Russell Wilson in order to win this game. I don't think that they need to do that. Russell Wilson does not have to throw for four touchdowns in order for them to win this game. All right. But I'm expecting for Marshawn Lynch, if the Seahawks win this game, Marshawn Lynch has somewhere in the realm of maybe, what, 200, uh, 200 not 200, but two touchdowns and maybe close to 100 yards. Seattle wins this game. All right. But let me go to my prediction. After all that said and done, the Saints have had a great season. But I just don't see them going into Seattle and beating that team with that defense after the year that they've had. So I'm picking Seattle to go on to the NFC Championship game. Either way, this should be one of the funnest games of the weekend. The Saints can go up there and do them, but they're going to have to get a good performance out of Jimmy Graham. All right. But I'm just going to go with the Seahawks. Let me know what you guys think down below. It's the WC. It's the first game. First game on the divisional weekend. Get your popcorn ready. It's going to be a great weekend of games. It's the first one. I'll see you on my next video. It's coming up real quick. Stay tuned. Stay tuned now.